As a teacher, having access to thousands of ready-made lessons, resources, videos, flashcards, and assessment tools sometimes seems too good to be true. With Ellie, there's no need to create your own lesson content. In this area, we've got you covered. But with this much content to browse through, how will you ever stay organized? The answer is simple, with folders. Let me guide you through how you can use folders to organize and craft personalized collections, study material, or even curricula that you can easily share and import into any class. Here we go. Although Ellie offers our own curated collections, folders, courses, and study packs available to all teachers on the platform, we recognize the importance of customization when it comes to class planning and prepping. Teachers want to be able to create their own unique collections of material tailored to their teaching objectives and their students' needs. That's why we came up with the idea of folders in the first place. Adding items into a folder from Ellie's content library is simple and straightforward. When you come across something that interests you while browsing and you'd like to save it to a folder, just click on the folder icon. From here, you can select which one of your curated folders you'd like the content to be saved in. There, saved. Inside my save folders, you can see that I already have a number of folders that I've been building up with content over time. Some of my folders are topical or based on a skills area, like these examples here, a Summer Olympics or Easy Readers for Beginners. I save content to folders like these when I'm browsing through Ellie's library and draw on these collections for inspiration when I'm teaching a class that I think these topics or skills apply to. But I also have folders that I've designed for specific repeat classes or courses I teach, where I've spent more time curating the content and planning out the teaching order. Opening up the folder, you can see all my saved content neatly organized inside. You can save lessons, resources, videos, blog posts, flashcard sets and categories study packs, and even pre-designed Ellie courses inside of a folder. Organizing the order of your folder's content is as easy as dragging items up and down within the list. Now let's look at the management options you have at your disposal. By clicking on the three dot menu, you will see that you have the option to share, pin to class, edit, or delete the folder. Sharing a folder is only available to teachers and administrators who are part of an organization account. Now, you also have all the same management options available to you from inside the folder, along with a separate pin to class button for your ease and convenience. You also have management options when it comes to the individual lessons and resources you have saved inside your folder. You can save content to another folder, remove content from the current folder, or add just that content item to a specific class. There are so many options available to you. Let's take a look at pinning a folder to a class. Click on the pin to class button inside your folder and then select your desired class. My folder will now immediately be accessible from inside my class's lesson planner. By clicking on the content drawer at the bottom of your lesson planner, you will now see a new tab called Folders in between Saved and Recommended. The folder that you just pinned will appear in this area. If you would like to pin or unpin more folders to your class, you can do that from here by simply clicking on the Pin Folders button. This will display all the other folders you have and you can search for or scroll through to select and deselect the ones you want to have access to in your class. Click Save when you're happy with your choices. By clicking into your folders, you'll be able to see all of your curated lessons and resources. If you have your content already laid out in your desired teaching order, simply add them into your prepping link chronologically and then move them to teaching as your students are ready for them. Otherwise, you can select any content from within your folder and move it into any area or lane of your choice, saved, prepping, or teaching. You are able to select and move multiple items at a time, and once moved, you'll be able to see where that item is currently located to help keep your folders and lesson planner organized. How easy was that? 
Now you can see all your selected lesson content is set up and ready to go in your lesson planner. Oh, and one last thing to mention. Now, if you run a smooth and successful term and decide you want to turn that class's lesson content into a folder that you can use again in the future, you can. Simply click on the three dot menu in the top right hand corner of your lesson planner and select export to folder. All of your class's lesson content will be exported into a folder that you'll be able to access in your saved folders area. With Saint Folders on Ellie's platform, teachers have the freedom to curate personalized collections of lesson content. And best of all, integrating those folders into your classrooms has never been easier. So why not get creative with folders and see what you come up with? Happy teaching. Ellie.